Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the new UI in Unity 5. We're going to be using this to make a main menu as opposed to the on GUI function that we used in the previous video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a folder called scenes and a folder called scripts. And this is just going to organize all of our files so we can get to them when we need them. And then we're going to save this scene as menu. We're going to create a new scene and save this one as game. And then we're going to go over to game object, UI, and then canvas. And this is just going to hold all of our buttons and our text for the screen. And we're going to name it main canvas. And then we're going to go over to where it says canvas scaler. And we're going to change that to scale with screen size and then go over to match and then 0 0.5 and what this is going to do is it's just going to when you scale it all the buttons and the text are going to scale evenly and then we're going to create a text file in the UI and I'm going to name this title and then I'm going to come over and name this main menu you can name it the title of your game or whatever you want really and I'm going to make this bold and do best fit and then overflow on both the horizontal and the vertical and this is going to make it to where it comes outside of the text box and then uh, we're going to click this right here hold down alt and shift and click that middle one right there and that's just going to put it at the top and then we're going to center it come over here and drag these little triangles around the text and that's just going to make it to where when you scale it, it knows where it needs to be relative to the screen. So when we scale, it stays in the center. And then we're going to create a button. And I'm going to just put this wherever I want it. You can put it wherever you'd like. And I'm going to name this play button. And we're going to come over here. I'm going to go change the highlighted color to like a dark gray or light gray rather just because that's what I want to do you can do whatever you want again um, I'm gonna change this to play game and then bold and then best fit and you don't want to overflow this because it will come out of the button and that's not what we want and I'm gonna change this to 35 and I'm gonna change the width of the button around just till I like it and that's fine for now and actually yeah and that's fine and that's what best fit does right there where it will allow the screen to actually size the text as well as the button so we're gonna do the same thing we did with the text here and then you're gonna scroll in and there's actually lines around the button that you can line up with these to make it like pixel perfect of the positioning that you want it to be so now we're going to click control D to duplicate that button and name it options button. And then we'll go over and change the text to options. <clears throat> and then not move that like that, move the button. And you'll see that all of the buttons properties from the previous button are the same. And now we're going to come over here and do the same thing with the triangles to put it around the options so it scales correctly I'm not gonna worry about it too much but they stay in the same area when you scale the screen so in order to make the options menu we're gonna come over to the main canvas duplicate it and then name this options canvas and then we're gonna come down here change the title to options and then I'm actually going to disable the main canvas right now so we can see what we're doing and then we're going to change this button's name to a uh, sound button and this is just going to be a placeholder for now but uh, we'll change the text to sound on and off and then I'm going to change the size so it looks a little better and then we'll change this to return button and then we'll change the text to return and I'm going to change the size of that as well and now 
all we need to do is add the scripts so we're going to come over to scripts and we're going to add a new C sharp script and we're going to call this menu and then we're going to open that up in the editor one second so I'm going to start this off by emptying out this middle part so we can just start from scratch. We'll go to the top and we'll type using Unity Engine.UI. And what this is going to allow us to do, it's going to let us use variables we couldn't previously. So we'll do public canvas, uh, main menu, well, let's do main canvas actually. And then we'll do public canvas, options canvas. And those are going to let us use the editor to put these in. So we're going to do void awake. And if you don't know what awake function is, it's it'll start before the start function in Unity. So that's always nice. But we'll do options canvas dot enabled equals false. So that way when the system starts, it doesn't show. And then we'll do public void options on. And then we'll make the options canvas dot enabled equal true and then the main canvas dot enabled equals false and then we're gonna add a function for return on where options canvas and dot enabled equals false and then main canvas dot enabled equals true and we're gonna have one last function called void load on and then we'll do application dot load level one Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go into the main camera and drag that menu script onto the camera. And then we'll drag the main canvas onto the main canvas variable we made and the options canvas onto that variable. And now we're going to open up any of the buttons you want. And if you don't see this right here, click the plus sign that's right there and it'll pop up. So we're going to drag the camera onto that object right there. We're going to go to menu and this play button is going to do load on and then we'll do the same thing for the options button. We'll drag the main camera on there. Go to menu. This one's going to do the options on function. Same thing for return and this one's going to return the return on function. And then we're going to save this right now. Now if you haven't done this already go into build settings right here and go to scenes and drag the menu and then the game scene and I've already done that on accident off camera but uh, just make sure the game has the ID 1 and then when you play it it should look like this now you'll see the options menu doesn't pop up and uh, if we click the options button the options menu shows and if we click them rapidly we can fluently go between them and if you click play game the new scene shows and you can use this to get from your main menu to your main game scene and that's it for this tutorial guys feel free if you have any questions to put them in the comment section below if you like this video please like and subscribe it would help me out a lot honestly um, I'm gonna try to put out at least two videos a week um, also if you wanna see something that maybe somebody else showed but didn't really explain too well or you haven't found a video on it you can leave that in the comment section below and I'll get to it as soon as I can thanks for watching guys go try it out